Hey folks, thanks for checking out this short video. Today I just want to share a quick troubleshooting tip that I've just encountered today. Um, I use Pro Tools, you can see it here, uh, and I upgraded from 2023.3 20, to 2023.6. And no big deal, update went great. Um, opened up this session and some of my plugins weren't there. My Easy Drummer, um, one of my Neural DSP amp sims, uh, things I use regularly. They weren't even in the menus, the plugin menus here. Uh, very concerning. So uh, I did the usual. I uh, deleted the Pro Tools preferences folder. Uh, I checked a couple other settings. Everything was fine. Uh, restarted the computer. Uh, wasn't working. A little frustrating. So now, I should have known this, but I completely slipped my mind. So here it is, um, in case you've encountered the same frustration, uh, wondering what in the world happened to some of my third-party plugins. Um, when you rescan, delete the Pro Tools preferences, and just doesn't fix it. Um, I forgot about this one. Go down here to your Finder. Open that up. Oop, there we go. Where are we going? And I'm going to go to applications. If I scroll down here, find Pro Tools, I'm going to right click on it, get info. Um, so you'll see here, right here, open using Rosetta. After my update, that was unchecked by default, right? It was off. I need it on because some of my plugins just don't run natively on Apple processors yet. Um, so I did that, you know, reopened my Pro Tools session and all my plugins were back. Uh, go to my edit window there. So that's it. That uh, was the, I wouldn't even call it a fix. It was just something I hadn't checked um, after my Pro Tools update. So if, hope that helps any of you who updated your Pro Tools recently some of your third-party plugins aren't showing up, check to make sure open using Rosetta is checked as some of your third-party plugins may not run natively on Apple processors yet. Okay, thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time.